National Dialogue Committee will hold a make or break sitting tomorrow. After last week's sitting ended prematurely over a fallout on the cost of living, National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndungu is set to appear before the committee to help the committee make a final decision on the contentious issue. And as Apollo Kamau reports, the committee is also expected to approve a draft report ahead of next week's final day on Saturday. All eyes are on the National Dialogue Committee on Wednesday as Kenya Kwanza and Azimio teams host National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndungu to advise the bipartisan team on tax and budgetary implications should there be a change in the law. It is important that we hear from Treasury and that is where they should help us crack that issue because at the end of the day, they are the ones who collect the revenue. There are proposals on the table, uh, principally that those that touch on uh, taxation and uh, uh, something like the housing fund, which uh, is, is also falls within that ambit. And uh, it's those issues that we want to engage the National Treasury further on uh, before we are able to make a final determination on the way forward. Ahead of Wednesday's crucial sitting, the team is walking on a tightrope as failure to reach consensus on the contentious issue of the cost of living could see Azimio go back to street protests. Should the talks fail as they are looking, they are failing. Yes. We shall not forgo our rights. We shall go back yes. to the streets if necessary. Yes. We are going to exercise our civil, political and human rights to the fullest. Yes. The Kalonzo and Ishungwale team failed to broker a deal on Wednesday last week after their stone earth retreat ended prematurely following Azmio's ticket or leave it demands on the scrapping of the housing levy and reduction of value-added tax on petroleum products as contained in the Finance Act 2023. During Wednesday's sitting, NADCO is also expected to approve a draft report with just five days to go to Saturday's deadline. We are given clear instructions. Kama hakuna kupunguza garama ya maisha, mushiweke shahi. Nataka nijue kama unakubaliana ya hatu wa western. A consensus will no doubt have implications as it will amount to a change in law as the technical team has proposed various bills touching on tax and budget. Key offices like the leader of the official opposition and the nomination of a new team to pick IABC commissioners. In case of hardening of positions, a continued delay in naming IABC commissioners will jeopardize the delimitation of constituency boundaries, which is expected to start in March next year. While appearing before the committee, IABC Chief Executive Officer Hussein Marjani says the commission will require an extra 18 months to complete the process due to the delay in the appointment of the new commissioners. Apul Kamau, TV47.